Hello ladies and gentlemen, you seem to come across my video, my name is Nathan Conley and with this video essay, I like to be a bit different with my approach, you know, I like to make it as fun for the audience sitting at home as possible, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to start things playing a little game of Guess Who. I'll start, don't you worry, I'll go a bit easy on you, I'm not down to Guess Who abilities, just, you know, for the video's sake and all that. Right, here we go. So. A man, very talented man, very talented. He's in the film industry, works as an editor. Um, he's heavily involved in the following films. Dunkirk, Inception, Interstellar. Throw the entire Dark Knight trilogy in there as well. With that Christian Bale bloke. He's a decent actor. Um, one more, Robocop 2 as well. So I'm just going to go out on a limb here and suggest you don't have an absolute clue on who it is. Because if you do, it will just ruin the joke and not going to lie, it will probably ruin a day. Okay, so without further ado, Paddy, take it away. Single man, reveal yourself! It is, of course it is. It's none other than 2018 Academy Award winner, Lee Smith, everybody. So, Lee Smith is a critically acclaimed editor. He has been involved in the several acclaimed films such as the likes of Inception, Interstellar, and most notably his Oscar-winning piece, Dunkirk. This is the most awesome thing that can happen to a guy like me. We know who he is, what he's done, and also what he's won, but the question I'm here to talk about is what makes him stand out from the rest of the crowd. Of course, Lee Smith has worked on other films throughout his career, but I feel Smith has adapted a very interesting perception on building and delivering a catharsis, so mainly touching on his work with Christopher Nolan, due to the fact as I believe this technique is more blatant and obvious to study on. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. Okay, so right off the bat, something you could criticise with Lee Smith and his technique of editing is that the majority of Christopher Nolan's films entice the idea of time. So what's my point? I think Nolan has constructed a criteria that plays on the aspect of time, but Smith is one who actually crafts the build-up with the length of certain shots and implementing the right sound at the right time. This is Smith's biggest and most important skill that some scenes completely thrive on the delivery which is shown to the audience. For example, within The Dark Knight there are many scenes that play on the idea of building up the catharsis. To go into depth, let's go and analyse a scene ourselves. A scene that sticks out to me from The Dark Knight is none better than the interrogation scene involving both the Batman and the Joker. Hear me out, this scene has so much riding on it with what's happening in the film. I could talk all day about how brilliant this scene is from the acting and overall meaningfulness, but when talking about mainly editing, it's a quick shift of time and pacing and building from one catharsis to another. The tension towards conflict happens so much in this scene, starting once when Batman is introducing the scene, again when Batman loses patience, and then third time when the Joker finally gives information for the Batman to pounce on. I'm gonna tell you where they are. And with this in mind, the attention to detail about how Lee Smith has built each catharsis up, it's the score. I and the duration of the cuts and the overall anticipation for the audience watching that makes this scene show how much of a significance and importance editing actually turns out to be. He missed! Another example from Smith's work is using the technique of editing to real time. There's a scene within The Dark Knight Rises, and yes, I must hate the Dark Knight trilogy. But there's a scene where it follows real time. The way I use the term real time is addressing that all that unfolds on screen is an amount of time which never leaves off the screen. A clip here from The Dark Knight Rises shows a chase scene. As the bad guys are getting away, the time on the device says roughly a minute and a half until completion. Then that exact thing happens on screen. A whole minute and a half go by sandwiched by characters and each of their perspectives while this minute and a half is shown to us. I thought it's something worth to mention as Smith cleverly edits to the beat in a sense. Editing within a theme as an action movie such as this is very bizarre that a boring download could be so interesting to watch back on and also when experiencing for the first time. Just before I wrap up, an honourable mention must be credited. I would absolutely kick myself in the teeth if I didn't mention anything from Dunkirk in this video. So, within Dunkirk, throughout the entire feature length film, there's a constant ticking sound within the background. 
I feel it's referencing a clock and it's ever so subtle to invoke the feeling of anticipation. This is one of the many techniques I've mentioned throughout this video that Smith includes throughout his work. I can only imagine I'm a bit over time, but please forgive me, I am wrapping up now. Of course, not so long ago Smith received the recognition he'd so desperately deserved in my opinion, but I strongly feel Lee Smith is a visionary in his field, and is undoubtedly one of the best editors in modern cinema. It's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you today. I've been your host Nathan Connolly, I'll see you next time.